I hope you have your math notebooks. Go ahead and open them up. Remember, it's up to you to keep up your math notes since I can't see them. And it's also up, up to you to keep them really neat. So make sure you're doing that. Our first problem is going to be 653 divided by 42. Before I get started, I'm going to think about my friendly numbers. Thinking 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, and 50. Again, if you're really good at a different multiplication, like say you're really good at your threes, or you're really good at your fours, you might add that in there. These are the ones that I'm gonna choose. So now we can go ahead and set up our problem. Remember we set it up just like our traditional division problem. 653 is our dividend divided by 42 is our divisor. Okay, go ahead, draw your nice long line down that's gonna separate your problem from your friendly numbers. And let's start thinking about a friendly number. I think I'm just going to go easy in the beginning here and say 10 is a great friendly number. I guess I could multiply it by 20. I just don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and say 10 is my friendly number. That gets me 420 because remember, all I do to multiply by a 10 is just add a zero to the end. So 42 times 10 would be 420. Now let's subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. 233, hmm. Well, I know I can't do my 10 again, so I'm gonna try five. So I'm gonna say 42 times five, two times five is 10, four times five is 20, plus one is 21. That'll work. So my friendly number was five. Make sure you're putting it nice and neat on the outside of your line so you can keep track of them. And 210 is what I'm gonna be subtracting. Three minus zero is three, three minus one is two. Uh-oh. I guess I'm already done because I know that I can't say 23 minus 42. So our remainder is going to be 23. And all we do to solve for the answer is add up our friendly numbers. So 10 plus 15. Sorry, 10 plus 5 is 15. Remainder 23. That one was pretty easy. Let's move on to the second one because I bet it's going to be a little bit more challenging. 1,500. 44 divided by 34. Again, I'm going to think about my friendly numbers. I've got 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50. 34 is a pretty small number, and 1,544 is a pretty big number. So I'm going to multiply by 50 and see what happens. 34, that needs to be a 4, times 50. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17. Oh, no, it's too big. I bet if I drop down to 20, that's going to be way too small. Hmm, let's try it anyway. 34 times 20. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. 680. I guess that's going to have to work. I could have tried 40 or 30. That's kind of up to you and what you're comfortable multiplying by. Remember, we're going to pull this long line down. Let's go ahead and work. Our friendly number is 20. Got 680 because 34 times 20 is 680. 4 minus 0 is 4. We're going to have to borrow from the 5, make it a 4 to make this a 14. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 6. Borrow from the 1, make that a 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 864. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use my 20 again because I can. And this does tell me that I could have multiplied by 40 to begin with. That's my mistake. And it doesn't really matter as long as you get the same answer. We're going to go ahead and take minus 680 again. 4 minus 0 is still 4. 16 minus 8 is 8. 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay. I can't take 680 again. So I have to figure out what I can multiply by 34 to get to a close to 184. I know it has to be less than 10 because 10 times 34 would be 340. So let's try that 5. 34 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 5 is 15, 16, 17. That'll work. So my friendly number is 5, and I've got 170. 4 minus 0 is 4. 8 minus 7 is 1. So I know I have a remainder of 14. Let's go ahead and add up our friendly numbers. 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 5 is 45. 45, remainder 14. I think this way is a little easier in some ways in the area model because I don't have to draw a box or anything. 
So it's kind of up to you and what you prefer. Go ahead and find your math book, and we're going to start working through some of these problems together.